So I decided to run for president of the United States. <laughs> there you go. So let's talk for a moment, fellow Democrats, about the importance of restoring truth and justice in our country. You know, over the last couple of years, we've all talked a lot about the importance of truth, and mostly in the context of all of the untruths that are being spoken. But I'd ask that we also think about the importance of truth in this context, which is, right now in our country, there are a lot of people who rightly feel a great sense of distrust in their government and its institutions and leaders. And the thing about a nature of a relationship of trust is that a relationship of trust, by its very nature, is reciprocal. You give and you receive trust. And one of the most important ingredients in trust is truth. But there's a funny thing about truth. Speaking truth can often make people quite uncomfortable. And for those of us who are used to speaking behind a microphone and a podium, there is an incentive that when we speak, we will engage in happy talk. That we will speak with the intention of making everyone feel lovely. We will sprinkle lovely dust all over the room and people will applaud and job will have been done. Well, speaking truth doesn't always accomplish that goal. But the other thing about speaking truth is this. Yes, people may walk away from that conversation thinking, you know, I didn't particularly like what I had to hear, but they will also walk away from that conversation knowing it was an honest conversation. So I believe this is a moment in time where leaders must speak truth. And now you all are looking at me, okay, Kamala, what are some of the truths you have in mind? Well, I'd like to share some of them with you. My home state of California just on Saturday night made clear what was clear in Charlottesville and what was clear at the Tree of Life Synagogue. Let's speak truth. Racism, anti-Semitism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia are real in this country. Let's speak that truth. And let us speak it in a way where we all agree that these are born out of hate, hate which has received new fuel in these last two years. Let us all agree that whenever and wherever we see those expressions of hate, we must all stand up and speak out. Let us agree that anyone who is ever the subject of that hate should never be made to fight alone. Let's speak that truth. 